can. Okay, hello. This um, I'm Andrea with Catch the Fire Worship Flags. Um, we're in the Fire Catchers Live, gr uh, the group live. Uh, this is the first time I've done it, so bear with me. Uh, making sure that we can that you're seeing this. Uh, that it's it says it, I'm live. I'm just want to. Yeah, I see it. I see it on my phone too. So here we are. Uh, so uh, today we have like a completely different kind of a fire catcher's chat. Uh, but I think it's someone that you definitely need to know and hear about what he has to offer. Uh, so as you know that we're getting prepared for Elevate Your Praise Bhutan, we're taking hopefully 24 fire catchers for a ministry trip up in the mountains. And um, I, I have my, this friend, JT Nelms, that I met uh, earlier this year. He is, I just wanna warn you guys, he's a little low energy, so we gotta like bring up the energy for him. And <laughs> I can see he's laughing right now. And uh, he has, so he's gonna actually, we're gonna talk about fitness. That's his thing. He has a completely uh, new program. It's a fantastic program. I'm part of it. We're going to talk about it. And, um, and uh, he's also a believer. So we're going to talk about what God has to say about fitness and why, as worshipers, we, this is something that we need. So welcome, JT. Hey, thank you so much, Andrea. I'm really excited to be here. This is fun. <laughs> and hello, everyone. Hey, so yeah, just before we, we got on, we are like, how do we do this? This is, <laughs> we have, we're just, uh, this is us live. There's going to be no editing. This is us. So, yep. so JT, um, tell, so I'm all already in the program. Uh, yes. Let's talk about ministry and fitness. Why do we need to be concerned about this? Yeah. So, you know, I immediately, when I think of ministry and fitness, at the same time, my head immediately goes to the Bible with the five bags of gold or other versions, say the five talents, right? And I view our body as one of those bags of gold or talents that everyone gets, right? Now, everyone gets it at varying levels, no question. Everyone, but, but everyone's got a body that they can do something with. And so uh, I've got a pretty strong stance on, on utilizing your body for service, taking care of your body for service. And, uh, and I love what you do because the, the whole idea uh, between what I do is being ready for, and, and this is super personal. I do, I stay fit to be ready for medical missions and disaster response, right? I'm a paramedic and, and that's what I do, you know, one out of every four days, but I, I stay fit, not for bikinis on the beach or six pack abs. And I stay fit for service and literally my wife and I for medical missions and disaster response. So there you go. I, like I said, when you ask that question, I jump straight to the Bible with, the parable of the talents. I really, I really love that. So, because um, what we do, what the flaggers in our group does, it is so physical. Like, I mean, when you're doing a lot, like it's, it's like arm circles for an hour, or um, you're dancing and you're moving. It's already a physical toll on our bodies, uh, and if we don't have like good core, uh, yes. you can hurt yourself. And especially now, as we are introducing ministry trips and missions trips, um, and specifically, we're going up to Bhutan. So I, when you and I have been talking, and you're telling, I kind of was watching your posts. I'm like, this is actually something that I need to do. I need to get in shape, in better shape, uh, because I know that we're going to be being uh we're going to be at an elevation that is yes. uh significantly higher than than sea level where i live <laughs> right right yeah um so it's you bring up a great point and i've actually got a a story that was one of the pivotal moments and, and i do not use those words lightly um one of the pivotal moments um about three years ago my wife and i went to peru we went to go see machu picchu and one of the things that you can do there is, is go up a mountain that overlooks Machu Picchu. 
And uh, Andrea, I've got to I've got to tell you that this was before Transformed ever started, and um, there was a point on that hike where I literally didn't know if I was going to make it. I didn't, and I and I don't mean whether I was going to die or not. I mean I didn't know if I was going to have to turn around, and uh, and it, candidly, it was embarrassing. Because here I am, a, a, a fitness professional, and at that time, I'd been out of the fitness for a, a little bit, for, for about three or four years, but here I am, a former fitness professional at that time, right, and, and I'm literally in tears because I didn't know if I was going to make it, and I'm looking up at my beautiful fit wife, <laughs> who was way ahead of me, and um, anyway, long story short, I, I dug deep, I prayed. And it was a pivotal moment for me because I decided at that moment that I would never end up in that situation again. Um, so I dug deep, I rested, I pushed on, I made it. And, um, and, and I, you, you are wise to bring this up to your people that are going to Bhutan. Um, I, I don't know what the, uh, what the highest elevation that you'll be at is, but, you know, I looked up some stuff on Bhutan. The average, average elevation in Bhutan is 8,000 feet, right? And you're already noticeable at that point when it comes to oxygenation. And, um, you know, I know the highest point, you guys aren't going to the highest point. I know that. But I mean, the highest point in Bhutan is 23,000 feet, which is only 6,000 feet under Everest. So elevation's a big deal. You've got to prepare for it and you've got to do two things to do that you you've got to strengthen and you've got to get some some cardio work in and specifically either some some rucking right where you're carrying because i'm going to heavily assume even though you're going to have porters you're going to be carrying you don't something. have porters we no don't porters. have porters, but it's not that kind of a trip we're <laughs> okay okay no, no porters no porters okay <laughs> but but that actually right but that means you're going to be carrying your stuff up there which means you you need to be working on strength you need to be working on rucking which is carrying weight and going on hikes um and and to be absolutely candid right uh I don't know your audience and, and obviously each one of them are individuals, but um, weight, body weight, strength to body weight, all of that's a factor. All of that is a factor. It's, it's true. And, and I have to say like, um, I don't know, I'm, body image is a really big thing, especially when we are flagging and you're at the front, um, it's with a big flag, it's impossible to be inconspicuous. <laughs> Okay. Yes. You know, like you are, you are, and, the and the body image actually comes up quite a lot, not even just for this. And one thing I did want to say about the elevation, it is true. The elevation is such a killer. Um, when we were in Tibet, which was actually higher than uh, Bhutan, uh, and we were at 11 or 12,000 uh, feet hot above sea level, that just walking up a flight of stairs, you're like, have I Absolutely. ever worked out in my life? This yes. is hard. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I've, I've gone to see Mount Everest and, and I was in fantastic shape at that point. And even with that, what you're saying is 100% true. It's absolutely noticeable, um, which is why you've got to prepare for it. Uh, you bring up body image and, and you know, let's, let's we're, talk about we're, it. let's right, talk let's about do, it. right. Let's do because, um, you know, and, and I've mentioned this, but I, I, I'd like to kind of hammer the point home, right? Um, as believers, it's not about bikinis on the beach or six pack abs. Now it is about having a body that can perform and having a body that can serve. And so in that case, yes, we do want to watch body fat levels, right? We can't serve at our fullest and be, grossly overweight is, is the phrase that I'll use. Okay. Um, and I don't mean gross in the terms of psychologically gross, the, the scientific term of grossly overweight. Right. And so, uh, so yes, the amount of body fat is important, 
But the truth is that it's important because it prevents service, it prevents performance, and it prevents longevity, right? And now, now we're talking about, okay, why are you here, right? And, and you know this from my program, right? The very, very first thing that we discuss is creating a life mission. And once you've created that life mission, longevity starts becoming something that you think about quite a lot because once you've got a life mission, now you've got something that rips you out of bed every day and you want to keep doing that and keep working on that and keep doing those things that bring glory to God and serve other people and be physically able to do it for as long as possible. Yeah. So, I mean, you're trying a body so or like a triune being so we serve god with um our mind body and and spirit right so our body is definitely part of that and what are you called to do i i want to say that there's a few people that are watching live and so um mm -hmm. if anybody has questions i'm also on my i've got it if i look down them because it's on my phone i'm just making sure that see if there's any comments on it i don't see anything at the moment but i will okay, yeah no worries. um can you tell us okay so i mean we got there's there's I, I think we're we're pretty clear on that we need like if to do to do the things that god has called us to do we need we need to be in the in optimal shape to be able to do that so can you talk to us about the program and what did i what did i sign up for <laughs> absolutely yeah no problem um so so the program, it, it, it's called, let's start there. It's called Transform to Everest. And it's specifically a 16 week transformation challenge or contest. And the, the winners of the contest will go with me to go see, not climb, <laughs> okay, but to go see Mount Everest. And the key differentiator and, and I'm, I'm someone that speaks candidly and the key differentiators, the, the truth is that you can go all over the internet and find exercise programs and you can go all over the internet and find nutrition programs. And the problem is, uh, lovingly that people do exactly that. And they don't realize that the very first thing they have to do is work on this. And so the very bottom do you mind if i share my screen and show the path here yeah no please do okay very good so i'll i'll pull my um my path up here and all right just real double checking do you see it there i see it yeah okay very good so so here's the whole goal with transformed everest to go from out overweight out of shape and frustrated to transformed and adventurous and it starts at the bottom with literally finding a mission and legacy. We work on a specific series of questions that based on what you know today, right? And, and that's fair. Based on what you know today, you will end up with your current life mission and the current legacy that you want to leave. And that's a big deal because that's how deep you have to go to truly do what it takes to have a true transformation. Okay. So now the issue with a mission and a legacy is it's pretty big, right? So the next thing we do is, is we find our focus and priority, right? We narrow it down and then we develop a plan and put it into action. All of that happens before you even discuss nutrition. Okay, that's how important the mindset is. And then from there, uh, there are ways to work on, there are three things, three key things to do to work on for defeating hunger before you even worry about what kind of nutrition program you're going to choose. And, and you know what? I have no problem sharing those three things with you right now. And actually, let me, let me come back here real fast. All right. Um, so the three things on that defeat hunger summit are have a gallon of water every day. Okay. Which is very hard to do. <laughs> so what I tell people to do, you're so if you're going to do right a now. exactly right. We've both got our waters with us. So uh, 
I, I've, ta- I've literally taught this. It's, it feels weird to say this, okay, but it's true. I've literally taught this gallon of water thing for nearly two decades now, okay? And the, the simple reality is it works. And it works because thirst often gets confused as hunger and a ga- gallon of water helps to fill, right? Just, and it's just that simple. So gallon of water, the second thing is to prioritize protein. And I won't, I won't dive into the science here. I'll just tell you that protein literally helps you feel less hungry. Okay. Which literally means you'll eat less naturally. And then the third thing to do is I tell people to go on a veggie adventure, pick one to two veggies each week that that you'll try and try them in two or three different ways. And the next week, pick another one or two and pick another one or two until you've got a, an arsenal of veggies <laughs> that are obviously way healthier than other options. But because you've gone on an adventure with them, you found some stuff that you enjoy. So anyway, the, the reason I like that summit for Defeat Hunger so much is it applies to any, any nutrition program. Um, and which brings up the next topic and you're familiar with this, right? I've got four different nutrition programs. People are different. Your viewers are different. And so I've got four things that depending on their philosophy and depending on where they are in life at that point, how busy their ability to prepare and so on. Anyway, um, the whole point is I don't agree with one size fits all. And there's nothing in my program that forces people into one size fits all um, because we're all individuals uniquely created by God. (laughs) And therefore we should all move through our own life mission and transformation as an individual. Yeah. Um, I, and I just want to attest to the nutrition. Uh, I mean, it is eating the things that God gives us to eat because he actually gives us really good things for our bodies. Like, natural foods. And I, and I find on your program, it's not, I don't, I don't, we just had Canadian Thanksgiving. I didn't have, I didn't feel guilty at all. Great. Great. Good, good, good. (laughs) I love hearing that. And, and, and you're earning it, right? I know that you've been preparing and working towards it. And so absolutely. That's great. That's great. So can you tell, so your, your, um, it's, tell us more about, so the, it's, uh, transform to Everest. Yes. Um, it's so the program is not necessarily for worshipers, but it we can definitely fire catchers. This is something that if you're going to Bhutan, join me. If you're not going to Bhutan and you're like doing a lot of dance, join me um, with his and talk about your your how can we get in touch with you? What and I'm going to have all the links, so okay, don't worry sure. about it. But can you yeah. tell us about what the contest? The, not the not the contest, the challenge. Okay. And um, and then I think right now you have a special deal if they get on early. Sure, sure, absolutely. So specific to the challenge itself, it's a it's a sixteen week challenge, and I picked sixteen weeks because if you look around <laughs> objectively, this this whole short term mindset doesn't work, and my first client was in 1995. I've, I've done this a while <laughs> and I've got a lot of experience that says the short-term mindset doesn't work. So that's why it's 16 weeks and there are four, four week exercise programs in there that are going to help people. Uh, obviously the nutrition is going to be the biggest factor on dropping body fat and then the exercise will be the biggest factor on getting stronger and prepared for Bhutan. Okay. So I want to be really clear about that. There's no magic exercise program, including mine. The nutrition is where it's at. And then I've literally designed the exercise program to be about performance, to be about living a life of ability to serve. So, uh, so that, that kind of covers the, the challenge itself. And at the end of 16 weeks, um, I'll be cl- selecting winners to go see Mount Everest with me. Now, as far as the, the best thing to do to, to, to get involved is actually to find out where you are on that success path. Okay. 
And the best way to do that is I, I actually have a quiz. I have a quiz. It's, and if you go to transform to everest.com. Who, who doesn't love quizzes? And quizzes are so fun. They're so fun. And when, and when they show you what your roadblock is with your body weight and physical preparation, then it's also a pretty valuable quiz, right? So, um, so at transformedeverest.com, uh, when, you, when you check it out, there'll be a button there that says take the quiz and you can go take the quiz. And on the other side of the quiz and answering those questions, it will tell you whether you should be on or whether you should be working on your mindset or your nutrition or your exercise. And that's powerful because now you've got something to focus on. And I can tell you from 20 plus years of experience, most people are going to come out of the other side of that quiz realizing that they need to work on mindset and that's okay. Mindset is, mindset is it's, huge. And I mean, it is it's it's, for almost anything. So, um, so it's transformed to everest.com. I will have the link. So, okay. um, both if you're watching this on YouTube or, um, I will post it shortly after, right after the video on Facebook as well. And um, I'll tell you what, Andrea, what I want to do is because, because you guys are doing missions and I love that, right? I, I told you guys, my, my personal thing is like medical missions and disaster response. Um, I've got 10 more spots and, and I want you to know, like, this is, this is the truth. This is not some fake thing. I have 10 more spots at the introductory price that I provided you. Yes. So uh, after you take the quiz, if you want to get started, let me know and and we'll we'll make sure that happens for your people so and i just want to um i mean there's a whole thing he's not going to tell us i paid a really really great price i know that the price is going to be um up over 500 i didn't pay, pay anywhere near that so um and so what he's saying to you fire catchers is that jt is <laughs> offering um the opportunity if you get in he's got 10 more spots so only 10 and um you will join. So what happens? I, I'm I'm just going to say it from my point of view, and you can you can correct. But you are part of a um, you get hit all of his 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 emails, uh, JT's emails, and they are motivational and insp inspirational. Um, but it's also part it part in the group um, where we can help motivate each other, and especially if we know each other. I know I know I think four or five of the people in the group. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so we we actually are talking, which you don't know. We talk actually uh, uh, around the group to each other. <laughs> I see. <laughs> like, That's did great. you work out today? How was your food? And so we just so we're able to do that. And so if you want to join me in the group at this really great introductory rate, I mean, you can join at any time, even if you're watching this way uh, much much. Um, you know, like months later, uh, you welcome to check out all of the links. Links are all still going to work because uh, this is JT's uh, passion, really, yeah. right? Yeah, for sure, for yeah. sure. This, what you know, I, I shared that the first thing we do is create a life mission and legacy. This is a massive, massive part of my life mission and legacy. Absolutely, yeah. This is going to be here. <laughs> Fantastic. So um, normally, uh, any, anything else that you want to share? You know, I just, I think the, as far as the, the program goes, um, yes, it's a 16 week challenge, but I want people to realize is that I've taken my 20 plus years of experience and the exercise program, while it is 16 weeks long, is actually designed to start back over. So this isn't, fancy speak it's literally a lifetime workout designed by someone with 20 plus years of experience and it comes with five months of support um and i'm gonna leave it at that because the 10 spots get more support than that um and we'll leave it at that <laughs> for now most people if you're viewing this down the road there's five months of support with it if you get in on the introductory, you
I think we're getting a little lag. Are you lagging as well? Yes. Um, yeah, my internet connection is. Uh, so if you missed that, friends, uh, he's saying there's some bonuses that you get if you get in on the, with the, the <laughs> first 10. So uh, you know how we only have the, the Worship Fly collections for a limited time? Yeah, this is kind of like that for him. So we get some bonuses if we sign up early. So I don't see any questions um, okay. here, but what ha actually happens when you do the fire catchers uh, chat, then I pray for the, for my guests. Can I pray for you in, in the business that you're doing? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. And please, while you're doing it, pray for your people that are going to be going to Bhutan because what, whether we ever work together or not, I'm just, I'm so happy that that's what your mission is and that's what you're working towards i, I just fills me up i love it so please thank yes, you so much thank you father thank you for jt thank you for this kind of an interesting uh a dialogue that we've had the conversation not our typical um but that we can we're all part of the body uh like literally we're part of the body of christ that i've met JT at a completely different event and here we are connected and that he brings something so powerful to the body of of god that that we especially as worshipers that we use our physical body that we need to actually present our bodies as living sacrifices and that is that is being excellent in everything and so that he brings the the message of of fitness and nutrition and healthy mindset around nutrition and that he has the kingdom perspective that he understands that we are called to do fin fantastic and phenomenal things that the world is that you've created this incredible world and that he's an adventurer and that we get to actually adventure in our ministry trips um, like how good is that that we get to see God at work and see his creation and so um, Father, I pray for JT and his wife and his wife and their business uh, as they're as they are providing uh, global uh, worldwide help, fitness help, just because it can be online. Like I love, uh, I love that there's so much digital con, great digital content. Uh, and so I bless, I bless his business. I bless JT and his health that he would have continued health that he would have divine health that he would help many that he would help many fire catchers and so uh, i bless you jt in jesus christ's name amen oh thank you thank you so much that's thank you. it's beautiful i love it <laughs> i'm gonna so let's we're gonna stop the live stream all right and stop the recording